Namashiva students. Now in this video, we will be completing our poem Animals. So let's start with the third stanza. Not one is dissatisfied. Not one is demented with the mania of owning things. Not one kneels to another, not to his kind that lived thousands of years ago. Not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth. The poet says that animals do not possess material things like humans and they are happy and satisfied without all the worldly items, the desires of which has affected the human beings very badly. This desire to own things has been called madness, that is in the poem Mania by the poet. Animals are free from the habit of praying to their ancestors. The poet says, since all of them are equal, there is no question of respect to some and insult to others. All these features of animals make them happy and uncomplaining. Let's see the figure of speech used here. We see only one figure of speech used here that is anaphora. As I have told you, what is anaphora? It is the use of repeated words in the beginning of two or more consecutive lines. Here we see the use of not one thrice in the beginning of three lines. Now let's see the fourth stanza. So they show their relation to me and I accept them. They bring me tokens of myself. They evince them plainly in their possession. I wonder where they get those tokens. Did I pass that way huge times ago and negligently drop them? Here the word Evans means to show. Now let's see what the poet means through this line. The animals seems to have what humans once had, that is, virtues like kindness, self-contentment and innocence. They symbolize the lost values of human race. He believes that civilization has corrupted human beings and instead of teaching the values to them, it has taught them greed. He believes in this poem that humans dropped these virtues long time ago and have forgotten them. Now let's see what are the figures of speech used here. Firstly, alliteration that is the repeated use of consonant sound in the lines. Plainly in their possession, the use of P. And next is I wonder where, where we see the repeated use of W. Next is the use of symbolism. Here the word token symbolizes virtues and qualities. Here we finish the explanation of the poem. Now I'll be telling you a bit details about the various poetic devices of this particular poem. As such, I have given you all the figures of speech. To see for the poetic device, I can tell you that the poem has uniform personification where the poet has personified animals clearly. Next, if we go by the rhyming scheme, we'll see that it doesn't have any particular rhyming scheme. So, it, is, it contains an irregular verse or blank verse. The poem reflects Whitman's animism. That is, it is the spirit of animals that are meant to reflect the truth in humanity. He respects animals because they have retained those values and tokens which humans seem to have already lost. Here we finish the entire poem and in the very consecutive video I will be discussing with you the textual questions, some of the important questions that I will be giving you, mostly global questions and reference to context. Thank you. Om Namah Shivaya.